Enjoy my video. This is the intro now. Okay, welcome back to my video. The other day we did this one, the four seasons where we versed floor on a solo and gave, hopefully you learned something if you do want to do it solo or if you have friends, it would make things a lot easier. Today, we're going to be doing Karune solo because all my friends are asleep right now or not around. Feel like me and your friends are asleep or you don't have friends? Enjoy! <laughs> You'll get to learn how to do this on your own so you don't have to rely on them too much. So let's link to our pet. Let's tell him aggro. And let's give us guns. Where's our trusty guns? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Got our back. Trusty guns at our back. On our arms, on our hands. Intermediate, Karune. Here we go. Hey, this first part is pretty easy. It's just a simple monster kill. Just watch out for the blue monsters because that means you gotta fight with your pet. Oops, I didn't have the right hotkeys. I was like, why isn't my skills working? All right, now he's testing my pet. Divine Link is probably the best option you can go for. And as you can see, if you didn't see my last video, an explanation, you want to get these extra pets at the side, which you do that by training the Finny skills and learning all about that there. Maybe I'll do a video on that one day when I have enough extra perfumes to waste about. But the main gist of it all is that the pet timings and pet, I, I want to call them pet perks, but pet perks is its own thing. Pet privileges? <laughs> is all through the Krone skills. I mean, not Karune skills, well, they're the Finny skills, and it allows you to do all these cool things. Summon extra pets, give your pets uh, Finny bead related skills out there, and yeah. Oh, my cat just passed by me. Not, not these cats, I mean my unreal cat. You just ran by. Hello! So yeah, usually the blue monsters are the ones that you want to kill. Those are the ones that are meant for your pets, is what I mean to say. This is another killing thing. Generally, if you really want to play a game, play into the game's mechanics, you want to avoid the uh, circle spots that will appear after this batch. Because they poison you and slow you down. And the way to avoid that, as, it can, as you see there, is to have ride on your pets. It says I slowed down, but as you can see, I'm taking damage from all of that. These are all blue. The trees, you really gotta look into caref excuse me, carefully in order to see that. Oh, that's a blue. It has that blue hue on it. I think that one went too. Oh no, it didn't. We're good. And now this is all for you to kill. It's a killing spree. Normally I'd have a stronger pet out, but this one is... Oh look, yeah, it slowed me down. I was like, why am I so slow right now? Uh, but this one is the one I'm kind of training right now. He's only 4k. And the way I did that was through Spinny Sync, and I used caged animals. If you don't know what that means, it's kind of out of context. Like, what does he mean caged animals? You'll, you'll learn if you get into that skill set. We won't dive into that. Not in this video, at least. Just give me more of a speed boost, because speed is everything. Here, you just gotta kill the monsters, collect the orbs, and drop it right inside. Not too bad. You're like, oh, you only have to kill one? Nah, that's just a trick. You gotta kill 20. You kill them, offer up all the orbs. And there you go. The trees are all pet related, so if you try hitting them, you're only gonna hit ones. And if you don't collect these orbs in time, they end up disappearing. So make sure you're watching what drops where and picking up what you need to pick up. If you have your pet on aggro like I do, he's gonna get ahead of himself and you'll be like, Oh no, pet, stop! I'm not that fast! I'm not an elf right now. Unless you are, then I guess you don't have too much to worry about. 
you miss one and it's like oh shoot I missed one or then I start missing two and I start missing three and I start missing four and y you get it trees and these little guys the spirits those little ones blue and blue 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 all for the pets so I guess that means the pet's favorite color, regardless if you like it or not, is blue. I think I missed one over there. Ah, shoot, he would. And I would too. I've got 10 left, plus the ones on the floor, and I'll hope for the best. If you're human and you're over level 100, you should have that hidden skill. Where is it? Right here, Breath of Latica to boost our speed. And that also helps a lot. Try paying attention to what dropped last. So that you can, I mean, what drop first and then them for, so you don't have to worry about missing out on the orbs that fell. And if you can't already tell, everything is done in real time. So I hope you're enjoying this time we're having together. <laughs> drop that in. Oh, March song is about to end in 10 seconds or less. And now it's back for another three minutes. What a long song. Oh, we're done. I just realized that we're already at 20. See, it, it goes by so fast that you don't even notice it, especially if you're talking to yourself like me. What am I talking about talking about? I'm talking to you guys. I mean, you, you might not be able to respond, but let's pretend. Tell me, tell me about your day. Oh, that's great. Oh, hold on, I got a monster to fight. <laughs> so this is just basically the humanoid horse, but reskinned. And you kill according to not color because yellow orange is range and you don't want to use range red is combat so now i gotta change my skill set bam oh shoot he didn't die there we go now he's dead and then his little buddies are around now his little buddies are dead just follow the leader where is it where is the oh there it is <laughs> i'm blind okay this next part you'll definitely need chains or puppetry mainly because it acts like that one shadow mission offering if you haven't seen or done offering for whatever reason and you're over here i think i got a video of that on elite i mean i, I should it's an older video though okay so if you don't have four friends that can go in each corner to fight all the monsters then you're gonna have to fight them by yourself and hope for the best gather them all up and follow what it says for the getup, because if I take this off, as you can see, it needs the spirit ones. Not the ghost ones, but the spirit dudes, which are the ones I'm dragging right now. And make sure you're paying attention to colors as always, because then you won't, then, then you won't, you'll, you'll just be hitting ones on the ones that need your pet to attack. Oh, I should probably put him on support so he doesn't mess me up, because like that, he pushed it away. So for this part, I do recommend having your pet on support so you can have more control over what he does. Yoink. And then you hit this. As you can see, it's hitting ones right now. What does that mean? It means my pet needs to fight. So let's put these guys to sleep. Everything can be put to sleep in this dungeon except for the boss and I think the mini boss, but don't quote me on the mini boss part. Come on, kitties. Get over here. It's always good to like play around with what you got too. Like if you don't have chains and you're not sure how to do this, maybe put them to sleep if you have a lullaby and use windmill, but at a certain direction so that you can actually get them in and die. Like, hold on, let's see if I can do it to these two. Go like that. Oh wait, these are, well this, this red guy isn't, bam. Because your pet doesn't use no chain skills to get them in. He does his own thing. Get him, my pet. OK, 
Okay, one more. If you see that it's not spawning, be on the lookout for like around the area too. Because as you see, there's always that one that's so far away. I whipped him, but I thought that would whip him into shape. I guess he didn't want to come this way. So we'll make him spawn his friends. And because of him, his friends gotta die. That'll be a lot. Oh, this is ones again. All for my pet. Oh shoot, I think that one didn't die yet. There we go. And this is a ghost greta, so I'm gonna get us, so this is gonna need him. Get over here, dumb ghost. I'm sorry, you dumb ghost. This ghost, you, you'll probably say, hey, he isn't blue. Well, what can I tell you? Purple is close enough. <laughs> All right, one more ghosty to go. Sti. I don't I don't know what I was trying to rhyme there. <laughs> There we go. See, my pet doesn't fight now. It's all me. Let's hit this guy so he can follow us. Follow me, follow me. Yoink. I mean, that's not the group I wanted, but <laughs> that's cool too. It's so hard to tell what trees are pet sometimes. Like, I see the blue hue, but sometimes I don't notice it at all. Get over here. Oh, let's get some Dorka. Oh, we're not. Sleep, trees, sleep. Yep, oh, there I go. So that just leaves us, dude. Dang, he like jumped right over with that death. It's like, I'm not gonna be your pawn in this game of sacrificial lambs. There we go, we got this. Let's get that up too. And now we fight the boss. See, it wasn't so bad. We were able to do it. You guys learned chains are a good thing. Let's relink. And we'll wait the two seconds so I can buff myself. All right, let's fight Corone. And we'll watch a cutscene for now. There he is, his little Corone feet, his little Corone body, his little Corone abs and arms, his little Corone self. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention, but, and those who don't watch this video won't be able to know this little secret, but if you use Dance of Death on floor, you'll be able to get a title called Shall We Dance, and if you charge this guy, you get a title revolving around charge. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> All right, let's hope you won't be a jerk though. Oops, I grabbed a pillow by accident. I meant to grab the knuckles. Go get him, me. And debuff him just like Fleur as much as you can so you don't have to worry too much about your damage. Did I get him with that? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Nope, something was hitting me. Oh, hey, backroom boost. And a lot of people tell me they have troubles with this part. So hopefully if I don't get distracted, I won't die right away. And you'll see what I mean soon. And we'll be able to do this with ease. This is the part. 
So normally you want to look for that shield and hit it as fast and as much as you can just so we can get this icon. And what you want to use is the WASDA key and hit opposite of those red lights. I'll explain more once I'm off of him because if I get distracted then I lose and we die. Here we go. It's easy stuff, dudes and boys and dudettes and everything else. I don't... I forgot. I just call everyone dudes. Everyone's dudes. There we go, dudes. Normally, if you have a friend, you have one friend that rides him and then the one friend that does all the damage. Just so that he goes down a lot faster. But his defense and protection go down so much that it's crazy. Like, look, he's going down so much faster. And that's what makes this run super easy compared to Floor. Floor is a little bit more difficult, so if you're gonna spam one of them, this is probably it. Especially since now you know how to ride them. Oh, I didn't explain that, now did I? Okay, so once you drop his shield and you see those red lights that come up, let's say one comes at the top, then you wanna spam the S key, because that's down. One comes at the down bottom, so that would be S normally. So now you gotta do the W key. And you spam that as fast as you can. You don't wanna stop until the lights change, of course. And then you get up to the D, which would be on the right side, so that means you gotta hit the A key. So to iterate everything, because I'm pretty sure it was confusing, is if a red light comes at top, you want to hit S. If it comes at the bottom, you want to hit W. If it comes up the right, you want to hit A. If it comes at the left, you want to hit, come on, say it with me, D. Oh, here we go again. There we go. This is D, spam it really fast. This is S, spam it super fast. And this S again. And it's like right at the sides of the screen. So you gotta like look and not look at the same time. Ah, oh, I think he got me stuck. Oh no, no, I was just in a bad position. So that he doesn't kill me by accident. I should probably... Oh, I got silent voiced. I should probably use Vital Surge. I said this before, but that's a really good technique to have, so do your generations if you haven't. And maybe if you have friends that have techniques too, you can run content with them if they want to be nice with you, you know? They want to play with you. Or if you have a guild that does it and goes, hey, you want to join us? Maybe you can learn. I always try running with my guildmates. I don't like randoms because sometimes they're so used to one thing and if you're not good at something they'll they'll just get mad at you and next thing you know you don't have people to run with. So if you have guild mates or friends that like you, they won't be as upset. Your people still get upset because you know how games are. You wanna you always wanna win, you don't wanna lose. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. You really gotta pay attention to these things too, because if you miss it, he like one-shots you and then he gets his health back and he gets his defenses up and you're like, oh no! Come on, do the skill! Oh, I'm not getting any crits. Oh, there we go. That was a crit! <laughs> as soon as I said that. Oh, and that's another cool thing, the Reaper that comes out. That's what, also what you want to strive for when it comes to the new gens and their technique stuff. It's always super fun. Alright, see how easy that was? You guys, you guys will do this no problem. Solo with friends. I mean, if you're doing this with friends and they don't know how to ride this Karune guy, they'll be so impressed with you. You'll be like, whoa, how did you do that? You'll be like, yeah, I'm just a pro. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Oh, we didn't get any beads this time but let's collect this and collect this and collect this okay so the one thing i can say is having divine link and techniques are perfect having a pet that has a long time frame if you end up sacrificing your main pet pets are great i was gonna say pets like what and having these side pets are awesome i have a hotkey to summon them which is shift z shift x and shift c and Z, uh, what is it called? V and B for the extra pets because like I said this isn't my main pet and you can do all of that in the option menu. Um, do you guys want me to show you? I'll show you anyways and then we'll end the video. So you go to options, 
you go to game and right here where it says hotkeys that's where you go and then you find out wherever it says summon pet things let me see if i can find it real fast right here see activate oh no this is technique stuff so it's not technique stuff is different that's to swap my techniques <laughs> like it's kind of self-explanatory there let's see if we can find it pet 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 right here there we go friend summon slot and you just switch it to however you think is reasonable for you i say the shift z and x and all of that stuff that, that's just me and i hope you guys learned something from this and you learn how to get extra titles from this if you're soloing or doing it with friends but it's always best to do it with friends because it has a lot of fun especially friends that you're good with or maybe you join a guild and maybe you get friends with doggy get out of my face <laughs> Um, or maybe you join a guild and you get friends that way who enjoy doing content with you or are also kind of new at it and goes, oh, how do I do this? Oh, well, now you know. Okay, I'm just rambling from this on. Go go home, guys. Go home. Like, share, subscribe, and all of that palava. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and until the next. Anyway, feel free to leave a comment down below. Leave a like. Share it with whoever if, you know, whatever reason you want to share this video for if you want to say to your friends hey look this guy did this thing and now we can do it too or hey maybe we can do it better than him this guy that, that's supposed to be like a swear in between there anyway why do i have double glasses what's what's the point of this outfit if my glasses are going to be on my clothing and then on my head why, why do i need two okay anyways till the next